Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam walkthrough. This is The Mind of Mario, made by Point Bleep Studios, who also made How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. It is $2.99 on Steam, it's pretty cheap. Let's give it a try. Should be funny. How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness was really funny, so... That game was free, so this is $2.99, so I should at least get $2.99 more worth of excitement, hopefully. It's caused spontaneous silly head syndrome and affects fewer than 1 in 7 billion people. <laughs> okay. Meet Mario Davenport. Marlo. Is his name Marlo? I thought it was Mario. Meet Marlo Davenport. Okay. My bad. Meet Marlo Davenport. <laughs> Is that Nigel? Marlo was born with a curious case of spontaneous silly head syndrome. <laughs> What the? A rare disorder which makes the individual experience temporary <laughs> transformations. Temporary transformations. <laughs> Although Marlo has managed to suppress his condition long enough to live a normal life, it has suddenly become unmanageable. All right, Marlo, we can do it together. You just can't believe. Marlo has come to see a specialist. Am I the specialist? Dang, I really thought his name was Mario. Marlo. My bad. Dr. Waddle. Oh, Marlo, yes, please come in. My name is Dr. Waddle. Um, tell me, how has this been affecting your life? Oh, God. Um, well, look at me. It's it's not ideal, is it? It's adorable. You're a kitty cat. I can imagine not. Now, um, can you tell me anything that may have triggered this? Are you feeling all right? Depressed at all? Um, well, nothing I can think of. Um, well, Linda left me. I suppose there's that. Dang it. Yeah, Linda left you, did she? Oh, that is sad. A broken heart can be quite dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> that you're only two shapes? I feel that broken heart for you, but your transformations, well, that's a different kettle of fish. Too soon. I just don't know what to do. Oh, God. Dark. It's, I mean, it's really... Oh, he's a slug. Um, I mean, is there anything you can suggest? Well, it's Salt. simple. Just find the items the transformations hate. Then you just confront them with it. Don't you? Um, how? Well, why don't you look for stuff around the house? I'm sure you can find household objects to scare them off. Sounds like terrible you advice. Your, head, your silly little head. Um, alright then. Well, I'll try that then. Cheers then, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> this oh. doctor sucks. Oh well. Well, Oak allowed us to continue filming as he battled his affliction. T shirts collection. He hopes the footage will raise awareness and help other sufferers of spontaneous silly head syndrome. You're the only one, dude. One in seven billion. However, Marlo seemed more interested in talking about an estranged woman named Linda. Linda! So, uh, you guys want to film this then? No, you just relax, Marlo. Just act like we ain't here. If you want to talk about anything in particular, then just pick something and we'll start shooting, all right? Sounds good. Okay, great. Well... I'll just start looking for objects that my transformations hate then. Find ways to defeat Marlo's transformations and then leave the house. Okay. Oh my god, his head. Sam, the trophy. Dad got me this uh, trophy when I turned 11 and didn't die, as the doctors predicted. <laughs> oh, that's a good trophy. Linda, she, uh, she really was stunning. Uh... Alright, if you say so. What do I do? First, and click the icon icon. Alternatively, you can just right click it. Okay, let's do this one. That one. It's not working. These are uh, Dad's old boxing gloves. I remember Dad telling me when he uh, got absolutely battered by uh, Bruce the Bruiser Brewster. Too many yeah, bees. He was uh, hospitalized for like 37 days in the end. Dang. But um, he said that nothing hurt him quite like the day the doctor told him that I had spontaneous silly head syndrome. God. You know, of course, my boxing career, well, that was over before it had even begun. And uh, my daddy was, well, he was just devastated, wasn't he? Okay. It says I can right click things, but it's not letting me do it. Select an inventory object and then click the eye icon to examine it. Alternatively, you can. Okay. I guess I just look at them all? Uh, I don't know. I bought this karaoke player for, for Linda's birthday. Uh, she never ended up using it, though. Since she left, uh, well, I get a 
I get a fair bit of use out of it, actually. Well, that's good. I find when I'm uh, practicing my gangster raps, <laughs> gangster and, and raps. it really helps me clear my mind. Uh, yeah, music, it's, it's very, very powerful stuff. Charging phone. Click it? What's that do? Marlo, Mr. Ruffleton, Marlo, stop stealing my milk. You're not a real fucking cat. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, haven't actually received a single message from Linda. Yeah, not sure I will, but I like to keep it charged. You're yeah, not a real jobs. fucking cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Marlo, apparently Dad is in the hospital. Up to you if you want to call him. I'd like to call him. Marlo, you complete tosser. You missed my birthday drinks. Text me. At least he's got friends. That's good. Okay, that's all we got for the phone, I think. Oh, maybe not. Hey, Marlo, when are you coming back to work? We miss you. See, he's got friends. Mr. Davenport, I'm getting more reports of animal sounds coming from your apartment. You know our pet policy called me. Marlo, oh, okay. We got cigarettes. Cigarettes. I suppose my uh, my only real escape nowadays is well through this thing. I Gaming. Do, uh, wonder about some games though. They uh, they seem to be getting sillier and sillier. <laughs> oh, is that a fourth wall breaking? We can smoke a cigarette. Smoking causes impotence. Uh, not sure how that will help. But we'll see. I mean, they're your cigarettes, bro. I uh, find I'm often scratching at these when I'm in the cat form. I've tried using the garden fence, but Mr. Ruffleton just sprays me with his hose. It scares me half to death. I, I, I bloody hate it. <coughs> oh shoot, is that Pulp Fiction? I went for the old 85 incher, much to Linda's dismay. Got her. She used to say, oh, your eyes are going square sitting so close to that thing. Oh, she was right. He used to just think, oh, <laughs> I hope you leave me one day, Linda. I really do. <laughs> uh... Uh, my dad got me this book. Face Punch by uh, Frankie Face Punching Fletcher. Signed by the legend himself. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Can I open it? Why is he fighting a shark? They, yeah, oh man. Beat that shark up. Your shark face shouldn't like that one. I could probably find a use for this. Sure. I'll uh, use these, you know, to um, set the mood for life. Love. They haven't been lit in a while though uh, god dang it even before she left though linda used to reject my candle lit advances uh, what can you do move on <laughs> god dang. that's what you can do all right what have we not examined yet seems like we looked at everything slug i can look at this it's uh it's not easy being a slug I can always just feel my mood just plummet as soon as i change i mean look at the state of me Pathetic. Oh, one time we got stuck as a shark for an entire weekend. <laughs> shark week. I went for 11 toothbrushes in the end trying to maintain my usual oral hygiene. Let's go in the kitchen. Why not? Oh, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, Linda and I used to love leaving each other saucy little messages. Ooh, here. what kind of saucy little messages? Oh, here's one. Uh, Marlo, don't eat the chicken in the fridge. It's <laughs> for dinner tomorrow. Uh, spontaneous. They used to be a little bit saucier than that, I can assure you. Um, actually, I think I wrote that one for myself. I, I did eat that chicken. That's why she left you. Oh, if I... If I lick my lips, my tongue will stick to them till I change form again. <laughs> I tend to make sure I don't eat any like, sugary donuts or anything like that when I'm the ice head. Otherwise, yeah, I will lick my lips and 
yeah, it stings all right, yeah. Um, don't lick frozen things, kids. That's solid advice, Marlow. Good job. It's been quarter past eight for well, weeks now. Uh, I do have a battery, I just, I just haven't replaced it. Why? Oh, I have to be careful here. Make sure I don't open the uh, fridge as the shark. Last week he scoffed an entire gammon joint. What's a gammon joint? Halfway through it and end up changing into the slug form, and the bloody gammon is so salty it burns a hole in the back of me throat. Oh, it's bloody awful. <laughs> Got him. I don't mind cats generally. A lot of people say, like, oh, I hope I get reincarnated as a cat. All they do is sleep. And well, yeah. Yeah, I do like a little nap when I'm the cat, I must admit. Usually on top of the fridge or, or the laptop if it's out. <laughs> Sometimes I think just, well, why not just stick the ice head in the oven? And I, uh, I do remember that that is how my Uncle Charlie died and, well, it was terribly sad at the time. I mean, it still is. It is still sad to this day. Gosh. I don't actually know what's in those cupboards. Uh, Mystery. Can't reach him, right? I don't. I hope one time. My bad, I didn't mean to click you again. Just trying to look at the cupboards. Linda and I, we, uh, we both loved cooking. Uh, so much so that well, we just used to make individual dinners rather than cook a shared meal. Pick up this battery. Oh, these batteries, yeah. Linda got these before she left. Always on at me to uh, replace the one in the clock. Alright, woman, when I get a chance, Christ. Christ! Alright, now's the time. Maybe I can just use these for something besides the clock. Oh, wait, we're not gonna use them on the clock? I wanted to use them on the clock. Alright, whatever. All good. I can salt myself. Any left after cleaning the slug lunge out of the bathroom? Oh, that's ice form? Oh yeah, I guess like the back serves through him when he's ice. That makes sense. Well, there's barely any left after cleaning the slug. I'm talking about the apple. Just uh, one of me lovely little apples there. One of the five a day, as they say. Um, Linda used to eat the other four though. God dang, Linda. It doesn't usually take too long to clean my one plate after dinner. Unless the old bloody cat starts licking the tap. I, mean, I can never work them out. I mean, sometimes I hate water. Uh, and then the other times they just can't get enough of the stuff. I, I never understand them, the stupid bloody things. Hmm. Yeah, I like the cat, uh, boredom and loneliness better, I think. So far, we'll see. Maybe it'll get better. I actually tried to time my number twos for when I'm in cat form. Covered in fur, yet it's a clean drop every time. It's it's amazing. Yet, when I'm the human, I end up using most of a roll of toilet paper. Uh, it's just ridiculous, can't afford that. <laughs> nice. We did it. Nothing important. Some days this ends up absolutely caked in the old slug glunge. Hmm. Eh, bit of warm salty water though, that usually shifts it. If I get stuck as a shark, I, um, I find it's better off just thrashing about in here for a few hours. You know, keeps me occupied. Oh, that's still bloody busted. It's uh, it's freezing when you get out of the bathtub, you know, ice head or otherwise. Huh. We did it. Now we just gotta explore the other room, the bedroom. The most important room. It's where we get freaky. Oh my god. That's kind of scary. This is one of uh, Linda's pieces. Oh, we got an achievement. It's quite gifted. Quite gifted. I'll probably just take it out back and we'll burn it with the rest of her stuff. <laughs> she won't be coming back. Well, at least he knows. It's uh, full of rubbish, that. Uh, not much else to say on the matter, really. It's just a bin. Well, 
Oh, I'm just digging through rubbish now. This is a, a photo of <coughs> before all the silly head stuff started happening. Hmm. This was, well, one of the last times he smiled at me. It's just a cheap microphone. The karaoke. I'll show you some of my skills if you want. Sounds good. This is a picture of my sister Emily. She's uh, fortunate enough to not have to deal with my. <laughs> oh, what the heck! He doesn't change. <laughs> She's a permanent cow, <laughs> as I like to say. Yeah. She is though. What the heck? She's a cow because she. This was the best picture. I, I like to keep this photo of Linda by the bed. Just so I don't forget her face, really. Oh, I got an achievement too. Oh, you are a sexy man. Oh, you are a sex. Hmm. How many achievements are there in this game? Linda, she uh, she left most of her clothes here. Um, I suppose it's still nice to be able to smell her, though. Huh. Linda, she, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Linda, she, uh, she used to blow dry her hair for hours towards the end. Okay. She said it used to drown out all the crying. You're crying or her crying? You know... I didn't think I cried that loud. <laughs> Got a sort of battery powered one in the end, you know, just so she could drown me out from anywhere in the house. You know, nice, isn't it? The batteries are dead, but it might still come in handy. Take it with us, eh? Yeah, I got batteries. We got batteries. Uh... That's that sorted then. Lovely. It's not gonna work. It. Huh. It's not gonna work. Oh. How is that even supposed to work? How am I supposed to know? I'm just here, dude. I'm just a man. Oh, uh, Linda would go mad if I ever left a glass in here. I just do it now because I can. Got it. Oh, I'll just take it back to the kitchen, eh? Er. No, I think it's going to be a bit too potent. Maybe just mix it down a little bit. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll sometimes change form in the night as well. I'll just wake up absolutely soaking if the ice head has started melting during the night. It's a bloody nightmare. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. I'm or collecting objects so I can get rid of the heads. Also happen. Genius. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the cat one, though. How is that even supposed to... I don't know. Don't ask me questions. Once I uh, defeat my transformation, so to speak, I'll uh, I'll go outside again. Lovely. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything in here. All he needs. Is what did I just do? Are you drinking that? We're supposed to be putting it in the glass, my dude. Okay, you did. Just pour a little bit in here. Well, what's left of it. And then we go boom! Well, I hope this doesn't sting too much, mate. Sorry. Please don't scream, I can't handle it. Okay. Oh, that's cringy. Oh my god, I kind of feel bad for him. Got him! Oh, well, that wasn't so bad, was it? It's not gonna work. I don't know, dude. Go to our karaoke machine. Where's that at? Ice to heat you. Yeah, puns. <laughs> Nailed it. Ooh, that's better. 
How is that even supposed to work? Where's your karaoke machine? Oh, it's an achievement. Hey, gangster raps, let's go. I'm ready. Yo, I'm not too full. Think I figured out the score. Developing a bomb that become a little flaw. I got silly, silly heads when I see them I dread. The people might think I'm going sick in their head. I got slut shock eyes and a pretty little kitty. It's not really silly. I can hide really, really. I can wear a hood in the neighborhood. But only on days that are chilly. Check it. Let's really check it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's enjoying himself. Yo, Linda, 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 where did you go? You didn't have to go and let me struggle on my own. I got 99 problems, but a slug's just one of them. Shark cat ass and 95 other ones. Yo, motherfucker, gotta listen to me. When you're made of ice, you know it's hard to pee. When I try to go, I scream like a reaper when it's frozen. We stuck in my reaper thing. Hey, nailed it. Alright, what do we got now? Uh, can we mix these? Oh, I'm just being stupid now. You are stupid. Leave me alone. Maybe I should look at the book while I'm. Uh, me dad got fate. Well, there is a. So I think I need to get those boxing gloves out somehow. But how? This is a... Uh, this was... Well, one of the last times he smiled at me. There we go. Ray. I did. That's so sad. <laughs> okay, let's go get the boxing gloves. So we can beat up the shark. Then what am I supposed to do about the cat? I got matches in the cactus. Like, what the heck does that mean? Let's just slip this in. Catch these hands. Here comes Marlow with the devastating uppercut. Ooh. Got him. Oh, I wish Dad could have seen that. We're down to one head and I don't know what to do about it. Cat head is the last one to go. Oh, I'm just being... Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm just being... Oh, there we go. Let's go. I didn't... <laughs> I have an idea for this. <coughs> Let's freaking go. Why do we have the cactus in the matches, though? All he needs is a little... Alright, come out, bud. Got him! Gotcha. Wow! <laughs> Hopefully I'll stop coughing up hairballs now. We did it. And achievement. That's not worth mentioning. Oh, wait a second. The achievement says to put the toilet roll in the roux. Where's the toilet roll at? Guess the roux is a bathroom. I don't know, to be honest, but we'll find out. There, there it is. Clog the bog. Right, what's my next? Oh, it doesn't tell me the rest of them. Are they hidden? View all achievements. Yeah, the rest are hidden. Whatever. Good That's enough. Not worth mentioning. Let's get out of here. We got five out of the ten achievements because the other five are hidden and I'm not messing with them. Wait, can I use the matches on the stove? That'd be kind of... that makes sense, right? I think I already tried it, but let's try it again. Well, that's pretty much... Okay, it's pointless. Sure. Oh. Well, yeah, you're Marlo. You're nothing without your funny faces. All right, here we go. We beat the game, I think. Maybe. Well, glad that's all over with. A little bit annoying, but here we are. You can go outside as me for once. You're not missing out on much. Oh, dang it. 
Are you permanently a cow, like your sister? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, he turned into Linda. Was he Linda the whole time? Linda? What the f- <laughs> Alright. If you or anyone you know have been affected by anything seen in tonight's episode, then please get in touch on pointbleepstudios.com. Produced by Point Bleep Studios. It was alright. It wasn't as good as how to cope with boredom and loneliness, but it was okay. <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of this documentary. I don't know. That slug looked like it was pretty harmed. Life of Linda. Oh, is this a new one? Wait a second, it might not be over yet. Hey, we got a new achievement. I hate post credit screen scenes. It appeared Linda was one of another one of Marlowe's transformations. This one with a personality of its own. It Linda Davenport. <laughs> Linda Davenport Marlowe. Oh, shut up, Mug. Oh my god. So, who do you guys want to film this then? Oh, we're done filming for today, love. Nah, mate. You listen to Marlowe gob off for an hour. You can listen to me now, can't you? Ah. Uh, no. Oh, now I gotta play as her? Nothing important. God, that voice. There's only one left. I'll save it for later. Okay, the game is not over. Dad used to read Marlow this book every night. The story of Frankie Fletcher, the boxer who trained for every bout by fighting live sharks. Dad thought it would teach Marlow to be brave like Frankie Fletcher. Instead, all Marlow thought about were the poor sharks who all suffered first round knockouts. Ah, oh, so it's the telling details us. are quite lurid. Apparently, he hit one of them so hard, they coughed up a license plate. Huh. Yeah, that's right, like in Jaws. No, no, it's all true. Okay. I guess we're seeing why Frankie becomes the objects, or what is it, Marlo becomes the objects he did. Sit in the mood for love. Is that what he said? Marlo wouldn't know love if it came up and blew him. A kiss. <laughs> blew him. He could never satisfy a woman. Well, you're not a woman, so... <laughs> His dad gave him that trophy, then ran away, leaving Emily to raise Marlowe. The silly head stuff didn't start happening until dad clobbered him round the head during boxing training. Hmm. The condition lay dormant until then. Dad couldn't live with a freak child and left us to struggle. It was an accident. It wasn't his fault. He couldn't live with the guilt. That's why he left. It was his fault, you silly headed idiot. We'll never forgive him. Hmm. I wish we could just talk to him. Yeah, I wish we could just talk to him. You pathetic, Marlow. Dang. Nothing in. Get out of the way. Marlow scratched these up pretty good since I left then. He used to love playing with the stray cats in their old neighborhood. He played out for hours with them. Right into the nights went bitter. When he used to break Marlowe's heart watching those poor things shiver through the winter. Dad would never let him in, no matter how much Marlowe begged. He hated cats. When Marlowe Marlo became a cat. When he closed his eyes to sleep, all he could see was shivering cats. Dang, poor Marlowe. Once Marlowe transformed into one, well that's when Dad took off. He must have really hated cats. I told him not to buy this monstrosity. TV is a tool to control the feeble-minded. Marlow stands no chance against its alluring projections. <clears throat> oh, some of the rubbish he used to play on here. Christ. What an absolute waste of time. Rude. Oh, bloody gorgeous. God. You don't get any of that silly head bollocks when I'm about, let me tell you. I missed silly Marlo head bollocks. This for me, for some reason. He knows how much I hate music. How can you hate music? That's his problem, you see. He's a thoughtless idiot. 
Oh, bloody you hate movies. everything, dude. There's more than enough drama in the real world. That's what I always say anyway. <laughs> God. Let's have a look, see what we missed. Well, you complete the tosser, you missed my birthday text. Text me. I don't know if anything's gonna change if I go through them all, so I'm gonna try it. Hello, <laughs> stop storing my milk. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Right, that's it. That's all the things in this room. Let's move on to the next room. A Marlo used to leave me sloppy messages on here. Oh, here's one. A poem. <laughs> Linda, Linda, you're the best. Warm your hair down to your breast. Sis. <laughs> breast you know you're nasty and you're mean. I know you do it to keep me keen. I am weak and you are strong. You protect me when the nights are long. I'm not afraid and I'm not a slug. Nor sharp cat eyes when I feel your love. Linda, don't leave me, cause I won't cope. If you're going into town, will you grab some soap? Well, see what I've got to put up with. That was a nice poem. Wait. What's this piece here? Dad. Zero seven eight two one. Dad's plur. Zero oh, seven eight two one. Might be Dad's what phone. What could that mean then? Oh. Uh -huh. This reminds me of that time. Oh, oh, what was it? Oh yeah, that time I told Marlo to fix that fucking clock. Who the fuck is this kitchen built for? <laughs> Marlo's uncle didn't have spontaneous silly head syndrome when he killed himself. He was just depressed. You slip. I've always hated cooking. I couldn't even fry water. Ho ho ho. But if that, but I'm on a rather strict diet. Did uh, Marlo tell you about the time he got his hand stuck in the he sink? He did not. No, no, it wasn't very interesting. Funny though, yeah. Stuck for a good five minutes he was. Interesting. Very interesting. Did, uh, Marlo turn? Oh, my bad. No, uh, funny. Stop. Do, do, do. It's full of rubbish, that. Not much else to say on the matter, really. It's just a pin. Sure, there's something in there. Maybe. Nothing important. Okay. Although I'm an amazing model, my real passion lies in painting. Look how I've captured my curves. Hmm. Marlo and Dad, just before all the silly head stuff started happening. And then he left us to fend for ourselves. Hmm. At least I was here to help Marlo. Yeah. Dad said he may as well have had two daughters once Marlo stopped boxing. And then he did. Well, there I am, Daddy, your beautiful daughter. Oh, shit. He never said that. He was proud of me. He ran because he was ashamed. Oh, shut up. He ran because he was weak. Weak like you. You'll do well to destroy this picture and forget about him. He's forgot about you. I just want to talk to him. No. All I can see is a cup. I can burn it probably with the matches. Oh, these aren't matches, these are cigarettes. Marlo's sister Emily. She ruled Marlo with an iron fist when Dad abandoned them. 
Well, she had to if they had any chance of surviving without him. Emily dealt with Dad's disappearance far better than Marlowe. To Marlowe, she appeared unaffected by anything, but inside, she was hollow and detached from reality. That's kind Marlo of sad. would always remember his sister's lack of emotion. He admired her strength. So do I. So it became a girl named Linda. Oh, ain't that nice of him to keep that gorgeous photo of me? Oh, you're so fat. <laughs> Where the plumbing neck did this come from? <laughs> Got her. You better stop sniffing my knickers, Marlo. You hear me? Everything seems to be in order. Hang about, what's this paper? Rest that combo. Ah, so now we can call his dad. That's good. Oh, well, it looks like a match. Hey. That was a phone number. Cryptic code. It's a phone number. The one I tore up. We should call dad. We will. We should shut up. Uh, you should shut up. <laughs> we should shut up. Wait. Do the crack in it open a notch. <laughs> Smells like a rabbit's hutch in here. Marlo used to cry his eyes out every night after <laughs> Dad left. I don't think he ever stopped either, judging by this dampness. What's that he said? Dreaming of me? Oh, what a dirty bastard. <laughs> That's fucked up. He sullied the sheets. Let's come in here, have a fag, and let one rip. Proper way to start the day. Can't use those words. There's only... Hey, achievement. Oh, Best one of the day. All day for this. But the toilet's clogged! Don't do it! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, go on. Yeah, don't worry about my privacy or anything. <laughs> The toilet's clogged. No. Jobs are good. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the clunge down there. Emily told Marlo the salt trick. She used to make Marlo watch as she tortured slugs in the garden. Oh my God! He used to just stand there crying. <coughs> Scarred him for life, that. Or Marlo. Do for a nice point and a deep bath. Some serious Linda time. Still don't know what to do with the cactus. Marlo's sister Emily used to turn the radiators off in his room to punish him. He wasn't particularly naughty. Emily was just mean. Yeah. Those cold nights were a painful part of Marlo's childhood. You sleep. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the cactus. We'll just leave. Maybe I can put it in his bed. Let's try that real quick. You should stop Marlo. <laughs> it worked. I'm a genius. <laughs> Prickly prank. I could make a prick joke, but I'm sure I made one earlier. I don't want to flog it. <laughs> Got him. I figured that's what she would do. Alright, let's call dad. Get rid of all these silly heads, including Linda, hopefully. Oh, my bad. I just gotta click it and use it. Fine, talk to him then. You'll only be disappointed, Marlo. Take my call. I think that might be the last achievement. I have to check when the game is done. He looks kind of happy he's calling. Now he looks worried. Oh, it's busy. God dang it. Hello. Oh. Dad? Oh, Marlo, it's so good to hear your voice. You didn't have to leave, Dad. It wasn't your fault. It was mine. I'm so sorry, Marlo. You were too young to understand. I do understand. 
you feel guilty for causing my silly heads. The uppercut may have triggered it, but something else would have eventually. I never blamed you. Oh, Marlo, that wasn't why I left. Switch to video. Oh, he's got silly heads too. To oh my god. <laughs> he's a dog and he's wow. a cat. <laughs> that was a better ending. Marlo ran behind the refrigerator with his tail popped up, refusing to come out. He requested that we f stop filming. Aw. Marlo's father was unfortunately put to sleep after biting the nurse who tried to take his phone. Oh no! <laughs> oh. That's awful. Great show, Duck. Thanks for putting us in touch with Mr. Davenport. It made for fascinating television. No problem. I think I find all of my clients are quite fascinating. Do you have anybody else for me? Well, what about John here? It's John. Oh no, that's a different person. John Numberborn. To his stomach. Whoa. Oh my God. He's like a fish. A land fish. Why would you do that to him? <laughs> Stop. Please. Join us next week as we examine John Nimblecorn, a man who spent his entire life believing his <sighs> foot should be connected to his stomach. God dang his it. dream finally comes true as he becomes the same person on the outside as the inside. Good night. That was a pretty good game. It was kind of sad. It didn't have a happy ending. But it was funny. I didn't see it coming, that's for sure. I didn't even think about that. Mitch Marmalade. Marmalade. Researcher Mildred McMillcaster. Master. Sorry. Can't read. Cameraman. Daniel Jambles. Editor. Luke Butter. Medical advisor, Dr. James T. Waddle. <coughs> Excuse me. Music, The Vibrant Fires. Produced by Point Bleep Studios. I do like their games, so they're pretty interesting stories. Kind of reminds me of like Salad Finger stuff. That kind of like morbid, depressing, like shocking kind of thing. That wasn't so bad, was it? Achievement. Let's see if we got all the achievements real quick. Yep, that was it. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. And see you next time, hopefully. Bye!